guys doing? Tanky Toddler here, bringing you guys how to live stream to Twitch TV or any Ustream, live stream, any kind of those websites with a Mac uh, Book Pro or really any kind of Mac product and using Flash Media Live Encoder, which you'll see here soon. So anyways, as you see right here, um, I don't have internet, so that won't be a big deal. We'll show you. I'm also not at home, so I won't be able to plug in, so you won't be able to see any gameplay right here. But here, we'll use this as a, we'll use this as a thing. Let's just pause that. Some real little trolling with the Lorite Shield. So anyways, um, yeah, so we'll use this as a little thing. So what we want to do first, there's a couple programs that you're going to need. I'll put the link to those downloads in the description below. They are all free. Um, the only one that's obviously not free is the HD PVR that you'll need to buy, whether it's Elgato, a Hot Pog, whatever you guys ever use, a Hot Pocket. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. So anyways, let's get started. Uh, there's going to be a couple things that you're going to want to do. And let's go to System Preferences is what you want to do. Um, we want to change this to Soundflower 2, Channel 2. That's what you want to do first. Input, as you see right here, Blue Snowball, if you have a snowball. I mean, if you have any kind of microphone. If you don't, it doesn't matter. So open up Soundflower Bed, which I have right here. Um, don't really touch these right now. It doesn't matter. Um, the next thing, and like I said, this is one. This is the order you want to open it in. You want to open your ITV or HD PVR that you have the little program to the showing the screen right here. The next thing you want to open is, I usually do Soundflower Bed. It doesn't matter when you open that. The next thing for sure, though, is Cam Twist. Uh, so you'll, I'll have a link to download for that. And then you want to go to your Flash Media Live Encoder, right? So anyways, um, and then you want to open your line-in. And as you see right here, line-in, you're going to need it. If you're streaming from a computer like Minecraft from an Xbox, uh, from your PC or Mac, you're going to want to open up two. So you want to download two versions and save them in two different things. And the reason is for that because when you're using this channel two of Soundflower, you won't be able to actually hear um, the gameplay so if you if that is the case if you're actually streaming from a computer rather than from the Xbox you're gonna want to put this um, output as channel 64 and then you're gonna put this as like channel 64 to channel 2 uh, that's not a big deal though as it, as most of you guys are probably here to live stream um, some Black Ops Call of Duty or anything on the Xbox so anyway let's get started right here you want to do desktop plus is the best one and right here as you see this whole thing a little preview see it's it's showing the whole the whole screen. So you're going to do is confine the application window, and right here you're going to have a couple things. And usually it would have like ITV, and then like component 200 or something like that. But in this case, we're going to be just streaming here. And to have the whole capture area, to define it, make it finer, and make it a better area, you want to do like this. And do know that at least for my internet and my computer, since I actually have a laptop, depending you can make this bigger or smaller. Smaller, you actually will have better. Uh, FPS, but the screen it just won't look very good quality. You want to find a good happy medium with your internet speed and your computer usage speed because do know Flash Media Live actually is a ton of CPU usage. So find a good happy medium. I usually try to keep it around this size. If I get it too big, it looks good quality, but it just lags a bunch. If I do it like too small, it just makes it look like shit, but doesn't lag at all. So find a happy medium. So let's uh, redo the sizing of this to make it look right. Just refresh it. Select capture area. There we go. Find this, and then also if you want your little face cam, there's a couple things that um, that Cam Twist can do. If you want to upload a image that you want to put on the right, like maybe your logo or something, do image overlay, and then you just put like we'll just put one of my um, thumbnails on top of it right here, right? So here it is. It's really big, so you have to adjust it. You have to adjust it rather, make it smaller. See, so you have to put it smaller. Then you can put that on the bottom right, and you can put transparency down. So it doesn't look like it's so it kind of fades in. Let's see what it looks like now. Oh, it's too far down. So let's put this back up. See, as you see, it's a little bit transparency, so you can put your logo and whatnot. So I use that every once in a while. But the one thing that I do use a lot is for a face cam. Click on webcam and then click PIP picture in picture. And um, see, here's me. I'm actually doing this from a car. Can you tell? Look how look how loser like I am. So and you make it smaller, and let's just put it in the top right corner. Um, yeah, see, I'm, it's really small. I usually make it a little bigger than that. But you make it fit right, and usually you can just keep it like this, so you don't keep switching back and forth. So let's get rid of that so nobody has to stare at my beautiful face. Uh, just me. And um, so, yeah, some other stuff they can do. There's different effects in here. Not all of them that cool. There's, like, bubbles, which isn't anything special. None of these are really that good. The one thing that I use every once in a while is Twitter timeline, so people can tweet at me and see their tweets on the stream. But like I said, not a big deal. So anyways, one of you guys are probably most looking forward to learning on this is settings for Flash Media Live Encoder. And what you want to do for the highest quality, H.264 is actually the best. And if you click on here, um, I've seen people do 3.1, 3.2, 5.1. I really honestly don't know the difference. But keep keyframe frequency as 5 and put this as baseline, so that's all fine right there. 
FPS, kind of know what your um, streaming capability is with your internet and everything. And right here, let's go to this. Cam twist, go to preferences. Go to general. 30 FPS, you want this to match this down here. You want them to both have the same matching things, uh, same FPS. You can make it bigger, but 30 is usually pretty good, especially if you're not a partner on Twitch. It won't be a big deal since you can't live stream in uh, HD quality anyways. And right here, you can kind of adjust this. I usually try to do 1280 to 720. Some people like to have it match the, this down here. Um, it's not really a big deal actually because all it does is it actually sends HD into this into the flash media live encoder But it doesn't really matter because in the end it's going to output as 360p um, So yeah, so right here um, You you need these two input sizes and output sizes to match uh, Some people you can depending on your quality of your computer since I have a laptop. I'm kind of limited uh, I only do 640 by 360 it usually works the best maintain aspect ratio um, is really well is really good and the KP uh, in the killer bytes per second or whatever whatnot um, don't make it too big it really doesn't make a difference usually keep it in between 2000 and maybe like not 800 is usually pretty good the higher it is right here probably the better quality but the more it might lag so just kind of figure that out on your own to see what kind of quality you can do so you're gonna be doing a lot of different test streams and what and everything like that um, and yeah let's just get rid of that for a second I'm not sure if it showed it or not um, but anyways so yeah, this is this is what you need, and right here, as you you see, live.justin.tv slash app, and then you put in your stream code, and you'll get that off of Twitch. Uh, you'll see like a little download you have to do, and I'll, I'll link you to that, and it gives you pretty much all the basic information and different ways to live stream on there. And it really doesn't matter your bit rate for audio. We'll keep it around 112, 96, 128. It doesn't matter. It makes it lag a little bit more if you keep it too high. Because you'll be able to hear people in general regardless. So then, um, yeah, this is basically all this is Flash Media Live Encoder. As you see, here's the two things. You're able to play it so you can see it actually work. So you see it moving up here. Uh, it looks like it's a little laggy. Mostly probably because I have a couple of softwares open. So that's probably the reason for that. Yeah, so if there's any other settings, make sure to leave a comment. I can let you know if there's anything that I missed. Like I said, make sure these match input and output size. You can change them. fix Because some of them, like, I think, um, let's see. Like this, obviously, it won't fit. Uh, I'll, let's see if it changes. Yeah, this won't actually fit the Twitch live stream. So you want to know which kind of aspect ratios to use. Uh, like I said, I find that 640 by 360 is pretty good. That's what I use. So then, obviously, to start the stream, and when you start the stream, since I don't have internet, I can't do that. It'll show you on right around here. It'll show you what your like average FPS is, what your high or low FPS is, and all that junk. So yeah. Oh, there's the link for my Twitch. So yeah, anyways, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If like I said, if you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments below. I will free for I'll make sure to answer all of them if you have any other stuff. Um, like I said, the, some of the downloads you need is line in, do two versions if you're gonna be streaming stuff from the computer, flash media live encoder, cam twist, and like I said, this is just for if you have a Mac. If you have if you have a Windows, then you're already set. There's so many other stuff you can do, and I, I'm kinda jealous of you pretty much. So hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, hope to see you guys soon. Leave a like if you loved it.